Hello, and welcome to Morning Prayer with St. James Cathedral. My name is Sean, and today we will be praying using the Book of Alternative Services. We will begin on page 47. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. The Lord is in his holy temple. O come, let us worship. Now let us say together the Jubilate, which can be found on page 49. Be joyful in the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness, and come before his presence with song. Know this, the Lord himself is God. He himself has made us, and we are his. We are the, his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving, go into his courts with praise, give thanks to him, and call upon his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his faithfulness endures from age to age. Now let us say together the glory. Glory be to God on high and in earth peace, goodwill towards all. We praise thee, we bless thee, we worship thee, we glorify thee. We give thanks to thee for thy great glory. O Lord God, heavenly King, God the Father Almighty, O Lord, the only begotten Son, Jesu Christ. O Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, that takest away the sin of the world, have mercy upon us. Thou that takest away the sin of the world, receive our prayer. Thou that sittest at the right hand of God the Father, have mercy upon us. For thou only art holy, thou only art the Lord. Thou only, O Christ, with the Holy Ghost, Art most high in the glory of God the Father. Amen. The Lord is in his holy temple. O come, let us worship. The first lesson for today is from the book of Numbers. Chapter 11, verses 16, 16 and 17, 20 and 24 through 29. A reading from the book of Numbers. So the Lord said to Moses, Gather for me seventy of the elders of Israel, whom you know to be the elders of the people, and officers over them. Bring them to the tent of meeting, and have them take their place there with you. I will come down and talk with you there, and I will take some of the spirit that is on you and put it on them, and they shall bear the burden of the people along with you, so that you will not bear it all by yourself. So Moses went out and told the people the words of the Lord. And he gathered seventy elders of the people, and placed them all around the tent. Then the Lord came down in the cloud and spoke to him, and took some of the spirit that was on him, and put it on the seventy elders. And when the spirit rested upon them, they prophesied. But they did not do so again. Two men remained in the camp one named Eldad, and the other named Nadad. 
and the Spirit rested on them. They were among those registered, but they had not gone out to the tent. And so they prophesied in the camp. And a young man ran and told Moses, Eldad and Medad are prophesying in the camp. And Joshua, son of the nun, the assistant of Moses, one of his chosen men, and said, My lord Moses, stop them. But Moses said to him, Are you jealous for my sake? Would that all the Lord's people were prophets, and that the Lord would put his spirit on them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The second reading today is from the Gospel according to Matthew. It is chapter 7, verse 28. And chapter 8, verse 4. A reading from the Gospel according to Matthew. Now when Jesus had finished saying these things, the crowds were astounded at his teaching. For he taught them as one having authority, and not as their scribes. When Jesus had come down from the mountain, great crowds followed him, and there was a leper who came to him and knelt before him, saying, Lord, if you choose, you can make me clean. He stretched out his hand and touched him, saying, I do choose, be made clean. Immediately his leprosy was cleansed. Then Jesus said to him, See that you say nothing to anyone, but go, show yourself to the priest, and offer the gift that Moses commanded as a testimony to them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now let us say together the Apostles' Creed, which can be found on page 52 in the Book of Alternative Services. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Now let us pray to the Lord, saying, Lord, have mercy. Let us ask the Lord for a day of fulfillment and peace. Lord, have mercy. Let us ask the Lord to teach us to love others as he has loved us. Lord, have mercy. Let us ask the Lord for peace and justice in the Lord, world. Lord, have mercy. Let us ask the Lord to strengthen and relieve those who are in need. Lord, have mercy. Let us ask the Lord to renew the church through the power of his life-giving spirit. Lord, have mercy. Amen. Heavenly Father, in you we live and move and have our being. Guide and govern us by your Holy Spirit, that in all the cares and occupations of our life, we may not forget you, 
but may remember that we are ever walking in your sight. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O God, the author of peace and lover of concord, to know you is eternal life. To serve you is perfect freedom. Defend us, your servants, from the assaults of our enemies, that we may trust in your defense and not fear the power of any adversary. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Gathering our prayers and praises into one, let us pray as your Savior taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us all evermore. Amen. Thank you so much for praying with me, and I hope you have an amazing rest of your day.